Morning, Ian. Oh, morning, Nigel. Feeling refreshed after your holiday, then? Uh, it wasn't exactly relaxing. Must have been amazing, though, to meet a whole new bit of your family. Yeah, amazing's the word. Pulled part of it back with us. My cousin Mary. Oh, yeah, where is she, then? Uh, recovering still, I should think. Why, has she been ill or something? Uh, let's just say she's a bit of a wild child. All oh, right, a party animal. Show you all the pubs and clubs, did she? No, that's not quite what I meant by wild. All right. Expect you're glad to be back then. Yeah, I mean, the only trouble with going away on holiday is when you get home, I mean, there's always so much work to catch up on. Yeah, right. Mm. See ya. See you, Nigel. Go, on, mate. So, this Mary's going to create a bit of a stir around here, then, is she? What? Your cousin from Ireland. Oh, yeah, Mary. It's all right. Do you recognise that car? No. Why? Well, they've just been sat in it now for, well, for quite a while. A man and a woman, maybe they're having an affair or something. What, here? Now? On a Monday morning? Never know. Morning. Pity I've got to work. I'd like to have come with you. Mum, I'll be fine. It's a chap. What do you do after the appointment? I don't know. Play pool, I suppose. All right, um, here, for your fares. Cheers. Listen, um, how about I meet you afterwards? I'll buy you lunch and you can tell me all about it, eh? All right, then. All right. I'll see you later. Good luck. Can't tell you how much Maggie reminds me of our dad, Albert. Sounds like he was quite a character. Oh, he was. Shame him and Maggie never met. They would have got on like a house on fire. So anyway, how are you feeling now after all your upset last week? It's a little bit strange. But you've all been really great, and it really helped talking to Gran last night on the phone. Yeah, I'm pleased things are quieting down for her now. So, she must be really missing you, eh? That's an awful lot of dirty washing. Yeah, well, some of it's my mum's as well. This is Joe Wicks. Nice to meet you, Joe. And you. And this is my sister's granddaughter, Mary. I'm staying for a bit. Great. How long? Uh, not sure yet. Just finding my feet. Listen, can I leave this for you, and I'll pick it up later on? Yeah, OK. Be ready back tea time, all right? Cheers. I'll see you later on, yeah? Yeah, see you later. He seems nice. Good time. Yeah, yeah, it was great, yeah. Yeah, well, sorry to bring you back down to earth, but I'll have four pound of potatoes, please. Coming right up. So, you got more shopping to do then, Cameron? What? You got more shopping to do? Um, yeah, yeah, just a bit. Well, why don't you leave your stuff here and you come and pick it up later on? Right, thanks. I'll tell you what, I'll leave my stuff here and I'll pick it up later on. Yeah, that's what I just said. So, you managed to give Mum a slip? Yeah, she's still talking to the other lady who looks out of the laundrette. Carol? Yeah, that's the one. She's introduced me to so many people today, I can't remember half the names. Well, you don't know how much it means to Mum you being here, you know. I think I do. She's like a dog with two tails. <laughs> Hi, Joe. Hey, you all right? All right. There? All right. I thought you said that you couldn't remember anybody's names. Right, we'll go off to the cafe now, shall we? Yeah, ready when you are. You coming, Mark? No, nope, can't afford to stop. Ah, come on, just for a coffee or something. Well, I suppose I could have a quick one, couldn't I? Simon, do us a favour. You wash the stove for a bit? Yeah, sure, no problem. Cheers. He's not bad either. Now, there you really would be wasting your time. Mark. Right, this is the cat. I'd never have guessed. Well, that's owned by Cathy. Mitchell as she is now, but she used to be a bill because she was married to my twin brother, Pete, who was your great uncle. Well, I hope you're following all this because there's going to be questions later. <laughs> Don't be cheeky. <laughs> your washing's nearly done. Uh, you must be Mary. Ian's told me about you. I'm Nigel. Hello, I'm Lorraine. <laughs> now, Nigel lives by the post office with his stepdaughter, Claire, and Lorraine is Joe's mum. Should we sit down? Yeah, I think we better. Go on, I'll bring the teas over. See you later. See you. I'm going to get back to the store. OK, aren't you having something to eat? No, I'll have something with Ruth later on. By the way, if you do get tired of the guided tour, you can always come and help me for an hour. Oh, that'd be fun. Mm, I doubt that. <laughs> I'll see you later on. Bye. Well, I know it's been difficult for you, but I'm really glad you came back with us. It's been great getting to know you. Yeah, same goes for me. Mark's lovely, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Mind you, he was a bit of a tear away when he was your age, but... He's a good lad now. And when you think of all that he has to put up with. What you mean with HIV? Oh, we told you about it. Why not? Well, it's just not something that you tell all and sundry. And I hope I'm a little bit more than that, Auntie Pauline. Oh, yes, of course. I didn't mean it like that. So, uh, well, how do you feel about it all, then? Me? Well, I've no problems, have I? As long as Mark's well, that's all that counts. Oh, you've escaped again? Yeah, your mum's nipped down to the post office. Martin had a letter that he wanted her to post. Oh, not to kill it. Oh, yes, it's the real thing. <laughs> Hi, you must be Mary. That's right. So, um, what brings you here? Oh, well, it's a long story, isn't it? Yeah, just a bit so. Some other time, I get you. Right, that's 26p he owes me out of his pocket money. Now then, I thought we'd start off at the church where Grandma Beale was married. Oh. No funny remarks from you. Would I? Yes. Come on. See you later. Yeah, Mary seems to be a bit of a live wire. You can say that again. 
So where is your first appointment? Uh, really? Then he'll fit my last appointment on Warford High Street. So what are you going to do with the rest of your day? Probably go back to the pool hall. Nothing much else to do, is it? What about Sarah? She's really busy, isn't she? She's got college, she's got a refuge. Well, she's so wrapped up in her life, I don't see her anymore. I wouldn't mind having a bit of a life. At least you've got a job now. Yeah, but all this London traffic, it's a nightmare. Not like back home. Well, now you consider this to be home. Well, it's not really, is it? I mean, our roots are up north. Don't you feel that sometimes? I've never really thought about it, Mum. Sounds like you are, Bob. Well, sometimes I wonder what's keeping me here. I even prefer trying to sell cosmetics to people back home. At least you have a nicer way of telling me to shovel. 